هذه منازل للمدنيين مستولين عليها <تصفيق> The biggest uniqueness of the Syria crisis is its ongoing conflict. It's a situation where you are under bombardment day and night. The magnitude of the people affected is so huge. Our national staff are on the highest risk. The reason I'm saying that they are Syrians, they belong to an ethnic group, they belong to a religious group. So sometimes, every time they go with us somewhere, we are stopped at the checkpoint, the security forces are demanding their IDs to know where they belong to. Are they this group or that group? Two children were brought on a wheelbarrow carried by their mothers, and these children have their legs broken by charbonnel from aerial bombardment, and they have not received medication for almost a week. So you could see the infection taking place in their, leg, uh, their legs, and these are eight, nine, ten years old boys. What we need to do is, number one, to make sure UN presence is maintained in Syria. Not only UNICEF, but all UN agencies should continue to remain in the country, despite of the deterioration of the security situation. Our presence can provide some protection for the civilians. 